for it TV. The world is thinking. So now you have the distance that Hubble measured using the Cepheids and the velocity he measures using the, uh, the, the red shift and the blue shift of the spectra. And so we're scientists. We like to make charts and graphs. Uh, so let's graph these two things, the galaxy velocity versus the galaxy distance. And this is the, the chart that Hubble made. Each of the points on this graph is a unique galaxy, unique spiral nebulae. Um, and what you can see is that many, in fact, most of the galaxies are redshifted. Moreover, galaxies that are further away are higher redshifted than galaxies that are close. Now, yes, there are a couple blue-shifted galaxies uh, on this, this plot, if you look closely. And that's all right. These are actually galaxies that are very close to us, such as the Andromeda galaxy. Turns out we're gravitationally attracted to one another. We're pulling each other in, uh, and we will, in a couple billion years, slam into the Andromeda galaxy. It'll be fun, actually. Um, <laughs> we'll make one big new galaxy. Uh, we can ignore those. Those are sort of local effects. The general overwhelming effect is that galaxies uh, recede faster from us the more distant they are. And this is the Hubble law. Uh, and in fact, it's quite simple uh, for the nearby universe. It's, uh, the velocity is just related to distance by a single constant, what we now, of course, call the Hubble constant. And this, of course, is another sea change in our understanding of the universe. Uh, because what it suggests, what it supports, is that instead of living in just a universe where the galaxies are sort of hanging out and not doing much, uh, we actually live in an expanding universe. Uh, so this is a little complicated, but follow me. Uh, this grid represents uh, space. And each little grid, uh, each little square, is a bit of space. These little dots are the galaxies that reside in space. Now, galaxies are free to move through space. They do that, too. Like I said, we're going to hit Andromeda. That's because we're moving, uh, both of us are moving through space at one another. But the other thing that happens is that the galaxies move away from one another because space itself is expanding between them. So here's space at some you know, beginning time, and here's space at a later time, when the space itself has expanded. Uh, you can see that the galaxies haven't moved relative to the grid of space, but they've moved from one another because the space itself has gotten much larger. And no matter where you are, no matter which galaxy that you're in, if you look at all the other galaxies, they all appear to be moving away from you with a velocity that is proportional to their distance. So things that are moving uh, away faster are more distant from us. Uh, you can also think of the example of a balloon that's being uh, blown up. Uh, just imagine the surface of the balloon. And there are little dots, little galaxies, uh, all over the surface of the balloon. As you blow it up, the surface itself increases. And so all the little dots move away from all the other little dots on the surface. And that's the universe that we're living in.